Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us how you can use onion to fight witchcraft attack, to stop moving objects from the body, to stop any kind of pains, be it spiritual or just a natural pains, with onion. Most of us use onion to cook without knowing that uh, the spiritual benefits of it. So if you are opportune to watch this video, just consider yourself a blessed soul and by the grace of God, you are going to deliver yourself, you are going to help deliver people around you from any kind of witchcraft, any kind of spiritual pains, any kind of physical pains, and anything generally in the body, especially those with moving objects all over their body. At times it comes to their head, at times it comes to their knees, at times it comes to their stomach. And when you go to the hospital, the hospital will not find anything. Some people will recall that their own started immediately after eating in the dream. You have been given spiritual poison. So by the time you do this, by the special grace of God Almighty, you'll be delivered completely. So before you do this recipe, there are things you need to get with the onion together. The first one is your grater. Okay, or blender, any one you can use. If you don't have a blender, you can use your grater. Then you need an olive oil, your original extra virgin olive oil. Then the next thing you're going to be needing is your onion. This is my onion. Okay, for those that will ask me, can they use a white onion? No, you need this color of onion. But if you cannot get this in your country, you can use the white one by the grace of God. It will work for you. So how do you use onion for witchcraft? How do you use it to remove moving objects from your body? How do you use it to uh, stop pains? How do you use it for spiritual poison? That is the question and I'm here to answer it. So for you to use it for anything witchcraft, you are going to get a big onion like this. If you cannot get this size, just look for the small ones like three or two. Grate it very well. You are going to add including the water please why i don't want you to use your blender you know that you cannot blend without adding water and i don't want you to use your blender you can use a grater or something to pound it so when you get it add it to your olive oil you turn it in a cup a cup with seal or a plate it can cover turn the olive oil there then grate the onion add it together allow it to sit there for 24 hours before you start making use of it for anything witchcraft, before you sleep in the night, use the mixture of that olive oil and onion to rub all over your body, including your face. Ask God to send away any forces attacking you, any forces that always come to molest you, any forces that always come to make love to you, that always come to feed you, that always come to tamper with your destiny. Even monitoring spirits, by the time you start applying this, every night those things will stop most of us that always have terrible dreams this will help by the grace of god to stop any form of bad dreams it's tested and trusted by the time you start using you will see yourself sleeping like a baby please always set your alarm when you start using this recipe so that you don't oversleep yes so that you don't oversleep each time i use maybe if i'm tired i also usually use it to regain my strength I apply it on my body, it will cool my body very well. And there are sometimes I will sleep with one week, I will wake up very late. So if you want to use it to relax your body, can I actually use it? Rub it all over your body after taking your bath and sleep and watch yourself sleep like a baby. Then for those having spiritual body pains, or you always feel pains in your nails, on your legs, you cannot stand very well. There are some young people that cannot stand for maybe even 10 minutes. You see them shaking, looking for where to sit down. Yes, that is an error. You are not old. Even the old people, there are old people that are very strong. They can stand for hours. So use this oil with the onion to massage your legs, the affected part of your body where you have the pains. Is it your waist? Is it your body? And your, any part of your body, just name it. There are some pregnant women, their own is waist pain. You can actually use this recipe just the olive oil, use it to massage your waist. You, the pains will disappear. This is a tested method to take, get rid of pains. 
even if the pain is spiritual, it is going to help destroy it. Then you can equally drink it. But please, if you're pregnant, don't take it. Don't drink it. You can only rub it. Drink it if you have spiritual poison. Maybe you ate in the dream and you want to nullify it so that it doesn't affect you. It doesn't turn to poison. Just immediately you wake up, take a tablespoon of it and drink. Drink it. You will see how your system will look as if you introduce something new to your system. It's going to help cleanse your system. Then another thing you can do if you, uh, you are having a uh, moving object in your body, every morning take a spoon of this. Just make it, you can make the one that can last for like a week. Then after a week, you do another one. You can refrigerate it so it will remain fresh. Because if the onion ferments, you may not want to test it again. You can only apply it on your body. So for you to enjoy it very well, the one you will drink, you can refrigerate it so it will always be fresh. You can take it, you can drink it anytime you wake up. Immediately you wake up, take a spoon and drink and pray on it. I always emphasize on prayer because it's the prayers that will activate it, that will make it work. The way all these evil people go and do incantation, your own incantation is prayers. That is the difference. You're praying to God Almighty. You're praying to the creator that was not created. You're praying for more powers. The way they do incantation and it works for them, that is the same way your prayer should work for you if you actually know how to pray. You don't need to fear all these incantations. Somebody called me early this morning. I was almost angry with the person by 4 a.m. That he woke up and heard somebody doing incantation on her window that she can no longer sleep. Because you, how will you be afraid of ordinary incantation? Somebody that is worshipping an idol, something who, can your God, can you hold your God on the hand? So why will you be afraid of somebody holding feathers and praying to feathers to answer him or her? You that can just, just shed blood of Jesus, those feathers will disappear from his or her hand. And you, are, you just disturb my sleep because of common somebody carrying his God on the hand. You are afraid of such person. Immediately you notice that thing, you begin to fire back in your house. You don't need to shout. Just at the comfort of that, your bed, begin there to release power. Power will jump power and the, and the higher power will take over. The weaker one will suppress and run away. So you don't need to fear all these small, small things. There are things you don't need to fear. And that is why I tell people, some people, when you come and when you chat, I ask you, which of my recipe have you tried? Because there is no how you will try my recipes, your life will remain the same. If you don't know anything, you at least will learn how to challenge anybody, no matter how strong the person is spiritually. So these are the things you, the, you benefit from this channel. Try these simple things I teach. You will see how your life will change. I am a living testimony. People around me can testify. People that do my recipes can testify that God works using these natural things. All these things are medicine. We use it to prepare med drugs you buy and drink. We use it to cook in your kitchen. So what stops you for using it to return it back to evil people? So use these things. Pray to God to direct you, to give you more wisdom, more strength to fight any evil person around you. And by the grace of God, they will all run from you. Okay? Yes. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one.